the best criterion uses a concept called measure zero. A set A containing R has measure zero if, for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a countable collection of open intervals O sub n such that A is contained in a union from n equals 1 to infinity of O sub n and the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of the length of O sub n is less than or equal to epsilon. Every finite set has merger 0. Let A equals the set of A sub 1, A sub 2, up to A sub n be finite. Given epsilon greater than 0, for each n greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to big N, let g sub n be the open interval from a sub n minus epsilon over 2 big N to a sub n plus epsilon over 2 big N. Then a is contained in a union from n equals 1 to infinity of g sub n and a sum from n equals 1 to infinity of the length of g sub n equals epsilon. Every countable set as merger zero. Let B equals the set of B sub one, B sub two, etc. Be countable. Then given epsilon greater than zero, constructing O sub n equals the open interval from B sub n minus epsilon over two to the n plus one to B sub n plus epsilon over two to the n plus one shows that B has merger zero. The Cantor set also has measure zero. Given epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer big N such that two to the big N plus one over three to the big N is less than or equal to epsilon. Let C sub big N be the set constructed after big N iterations of removing open middle thirds. C sub big N is the union of two to the big N closed intervals I sub N each of length 1 over 3 to the big N. So we construct a collection of 2 to the big N open intervals O sub N. For each N, O sub N contains I sub N, and the length of O sub N is 2 over 3 to the big N. Then C is contained in C sub big N, is contained in a union from n equals 1 to 2 to the big n of o sub n and the sum from n equals 1 to 2 to the big n of the length of o sub n is less than or equal to epsilon.